So in this video, we're going to look at how you can replace a large quantity of your daily Gmails, especially within a team, by using a Google chat room. So if we come up to the top of our Gmail here, we can see we've got the chat box and in here is the option for rooms. And that too is telling me that I've got two rooms that are active that I've got messages in that I haven't read. Um, so what I can do here is I can open up my rooms and I'm going to go through into this one that I've already started. But to create a room, you just quite simply create a room and then you start adding people to it. Now, the good thing about a room is people can join and return any time they like. Um, so you don't have to um, re-invite people. If they leave a room, they can dip in and dip out any time they like once they've had an invite. So here we've got a My Tech Buddies chat group and we can see here that there's the chat going on and we can add extra people and even add some bots just by typing emails in there. Okay, so I could choose to add Ben, for example. And it gives me the reminder that Ben is external because he's outside of my domain uh, and lets me decide whether I want to or not. Okay, and that's a setting within um, chat itself. So you can decide whether to allow that or not. Okay, so I'm just gonna add that to there and I'm adding Ben now. So here we've got some chats that have already been going on. It tells me here that I invited Ben Moore, and I'm just gonna let him know, hi Ben, we're using this for a quick demo of chat rooms. Okay, and I'm just gonna send in that message. And he's gonna pick that message up. And he may be working at the moment, he may not. But in a busy environment, much quicker than sending an email. What you'll also, no also notice is you've got the options for emojis, for quick responses. You can upload documents from your computer. You can bring documents in from your drive and share them. And you can even click on and start a video meeting. And you just click send to do a video meet with that person. So really, really quick and easy, all in one place. So say for example, I wanted to share with Ben a particular document, I can go to my drive here and I can choose any of my documents. I'm just gonna to go to recents and choose something as a random. There we go. This recording of um, moting slides. So I'm gonna share that with him and I'm gonna click select. So it's gonna pop that in there as a link already for me. Um, and I'm just going to add the message here. Here's a video you might find useful. And I'm just going to send that. Okay. Now, if it's a document and it's not already shared, it will remind you that people in that group are going to have access to it. Okay. So that's all going to pop through in there. And that automatically then shares with Ben and he'll get a pop up to remind him. So it's really, really straightforward. We've also got here the files menu. So you can see every document that's been shared within your team. And you can also add it to your drive as a shortcut. Or you can, as we said here, move it within your drive. And you can view it in the chat just by clicking on it here. So you don't have to go searching through the chat to find it. We can just say, all right, there's an interview schedule. Let's view it in the chat. And it takes me straight to it. So I don't have to go scrolling through previous history to find it, okay? And then the other bit which I really like is the integration with the tasks, okay? Because you can add a task and you can assign it to any person with any particular time. So I'm gonna add a task here which is going to be plan, short, um, plan, plan the next short and sweet episode. And I'm gonna add a date and a time for that. So let's look at doing that on Wednesday and maybe we might do that in the afternoon. So I'm gonna pop that on there, I'm gonna click add. And as soon as I've added it, I've got the option to add extra details here. I can put in more information here. So we need to look at what content to share. And I can assign that to anyone that's in the team, okay? So I can click assign here and it's picked up all of these. It hasn't picked up Ben yet because he hasn't accepted the response yet. But if it did need to, if Ben had accepted the response and joined the chat, 
I'd be able to tag in directly. Okay, uh, at the moment, I'm going to assign it to myself, um, and we can see that that's going to pop up. And then all of these can easily be ticked off as completed when they're done. So it's very, very simple to keep track of what your team has achieved, who's done what and where. And much quicker than doing it in Gmail, much less work involved, and much more immediate. So a super efficient way to communicate as a team.